Hey, I want to say thanks to our pioneers who helped us through the several days of, of heavy damage from the big windstorm. Have you taken a look at this tree below me, which is a 120, 130 year old bay laurel, probably planted by the governor who used to live here. And as many of you know, it laid itself down right over my left shoulder almost perfectly. It's pretty well rotted, so it did need to come down, which we didn't know. But I'm sure appreciative of our kitchen staff, our groundskeepers, our teachers, dorm parents, and of course, especially all of the students for hanging together and getting through this uh, critical time. Thank you and congratulations. I'm glad it's over. Good morning and welcome to the Six Spot News. This week we have videos from the storm, from Arizona, and also from music. So now let's take a look at the videos. Hello, this is Sunspot News reporting with Mints on Kim. Uh, where I just came from was an accident that happened during the severe windstorms of Thursday and Friday. If you can see, a tree has broken and snapped in half and broke the fence down at the outside basketball courts. It's a tragedy. Where were you when the wind came? Wind came? When the wind came, I was sleeping in my room and I was awakened by Marco, who had ran from the bathroom when the power went out. So what did you do? Marco screamed, and he said the door was flopping open, and he was scared for his life. He thought he was going to be, he thought he was being followed. Why? Somebody. Ah. <laughs> uh... so did you went outside to see the those like two sisters, or just just like chilling in your room? Uh, we were outside kind of late you know we wanted to see what the wind was like and while we were outside we were being hit by debris <laughs> tree leaves dirt uh, umbrellas were flying at us crazy stuff so do you know like what time the electricity was gone like uh, power was gone uh, I think the electricity went out around 11 11 45 yeah it's pretty it's pretty late I shouldn't have been up but I was awakened by Marco in his bathroom. Yeah, it's okay. Well, oh. So, how did you survive two days without power? Uh, surviving two days without power was pretty insane. But when the power did come back on, luckily I took a warm shower. What a success. Isaiah Glenn here, reporting for the Sunspot News with... Mark Song. And uh, Mark, you were here during this tragic storm. Yes, yes, I was. Um, can you describe in detail what happened that night? Well, I was just about to go to sleep when um, I heard some winds blowing against the roof and the windows. And um, I, I woke up the next day, the roof was falling apart, and the trash can, and the parasols were all over the place. It was, it was really tragic. Luckily, uh, we we all come together and formed a circle and supported each other during these tough times. It's, it was it's it's a good moment, you know. Yeah. Just for those of you who couldn't make it to school, this tree came out to about there, like right 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 where Randy is. Right, see see him see him right there. And Jack, yes, Jack. Hello, Jack. Okay. Okay, come back here. Okay. Now, um, now, I would like to thank you, Mark, for giving us your time and telling us about these tragic events on that night. You better. I mean... <laughs>